What's up YouTube? It's the end of December. Still no snow on the ground. We ain't making no money. All these money makers just sitting here. Plows, nothing. Got the salt shed half full. 75% chance of snow tomorrow, so we are going to put some trucks in the shop and pray for snow. Now, these trucks have been sitting out here a couple weeks, so it'll be interesting to see which ones are dead. Doo -doo -doo. Whoops. Oh yeah, that's what you call ticky tick. That's not gonna work. All right, one dead one. That ain't bad so far. One for one. Oh, I'm betting this one's gonna be dead. This is just a shoveler truck though. Just a shit box. This truck actually got rolled over last winter. We just pushed the cab back out, and put a different door on her. And send her back to work now let's go start this one duramax this one usually starts good this one's got a brand new motor in it put it in a couple years ago hopefully the batteries are good do, do, do. oh yeah runs good She's a little rusty though, a little rusty. Seems to be something going on down here. I'm not sure. But I got a brand new rust-free Texas cab sitting up there for it. Put her on there sometime. This truck here, this is an absolute workhorse. This truck never lets us down she's just a money maker let's see how many miles are on this pos 294 294,000. she just keeps going this truck has a sprayer on it all summer and then it literally goes right to a salt truck the frame's getting pretty bad on this one though I've patched it a couple times and she's probably gonna break in half. This one's an 07. We got some bacon and mac and cheese bites in here. What's this one got? Oh, a dead battery. God damn it. Looks like we're getting battery chargers out. Well, that's what happens when we don't do nothing for a month. Just part of the process. All these trucks got GPS's in them and tablets in them. Bound to have issues with the batteries going dead when we don't use them. What in the f is that truck doing? This truck's making some weird noises right now. If you guys can hear that but it sounds like there's a something stuck in the fan or something all right let's go get a battery charger we got two battery chargers There's that rust-free cab. We got that down south. We gotta put that on sometime this winter. But just one of those things that doesn't really need to be done, but you know, we'll get there someday. All right. 
200 amp boost. She's a good old running 6 0. This one's got 217,000 miles, but yeah, see, charging, low temperature. I don't know. It is what it is. Usually, like if it's snowing constantly and we're plowing snow every week. We just keep all the trucks in the shop. You have a lot more, a lot less issues that way. But uh, when I got everybody laid off for Christmas break and we ain't got much going on, you're gonna have a dead battery now and then. So yeah, here's that uh, rust-free cab. It's white. Clean. I got this down south. I think I paid like 800 bucks for it. Which I really should get it uh, get it put on that truck. But we gotta make some money first. Mother Nature's kicking our ass this year. Snow snow bull sucks. Well, let's get these trucks in the shop here. Oh, listen to that old ticky tick. Oh, yeah. She just keeps on ticking. I don't know. Every light in the day is your zone. Old reliable. Like a rock. So strong, but I was like a rock. Holy hot in here now, boys. Woo! Man, these old Chevys got good heaters, to tell you that. Anybody in the comments guess what this is for? Digital counter. You guess what that's for? Put it down in the comments. Be surprised if anybody knows. Alright, another truck in here. Yeah, this one's a 2015. Nicer one of the fleet. What's going on there? All right. All right. And you guess what that's for? Well, I'm not going to put the plows on. It's only a 70% chance of snow, so if I put the plows all on and get all the trucks 100% ready, then it won't snow. If I just do this, kind of half-ass get ready, it'll probably snow, so kind of rolling the dice here. But it's nice to have them in the shop, warmed up, and the guys come in and they'll check all the fluids over. And then, uh, if we get enough snow, they'll go put the plows on. If we get just enough to salt, then we just gotta salt. So, I'm really praying for some snow. A little bit of a broken windshield. Hey, this one's got a counter too. 
You guys have probably figured out what that's for by now. At least I hope so. Can't give you too many clues. Ford Ranger! Alright, so we got the four salt trucks inside. Normally, we get all the trucks in here, but like I said, 70% chance of snow. We're not going to get them all in here and get all riled up just yet. So, hopefully, tomorrow morning we'll be out and we'll get you guys some footage. The next day. If you ever want to be stressed out, get into the snow removal business. <laughs> it's getting a little slick, so we might have to go salt here in a little bit. But got to go in the office and get a couple things done this morning. So let's go see what's happening in here. A whole lot of nothing. Office lady sick. The other ladies off this week so not much happening up up there? Right at the bottom. Like plug plug? Sounds like it. Gotta go to Menards. <coughs> Come grab four pieces of that black pipe. Should be over by that other pipe that we bought the other day. And then get two, yeah. And then get two of those elbows. I think there's two elbows there. Is that all plugged up up there? Pretty bad? Okay. Oh yeah. So this pipe's been on here for three years. Guess it's finally junk. Then you guys can vacuum out inside of here too. Try not to tear up that piece in the bottom there. That's a then we'll probably that nozzle and those fins back there we'll spray with brake clean and find like a plastic little plastic brush and we'll clean that up. So I would assume the chimney being plugged was just choking it out. So. Yeah, it was just plugged right there at the start of the chimney. Was it? Okay. But these were open. Okay. Come on, Mother Nature. 
We're gonna need a little bit more than that. Time to load some salt up. Man, this windshield's dirty. what these guys got going on here. This little mini loader outside. We won't be needing this thing today, anyways. So. This thing's got one kick ass heater in it, I'll tell you that. You cannot drive this thing around all day in the winter with a heater on. She'll burn you right out of here. So normally we have a little uh, four foot blade that we put on this. It's kind of a sidewalk machine, but uh, yeah, we really haven't had enough snow to worry about it. So we've just been keeping this at the shop and kind of using it as we need it. So. Hopefully the weather pattern changes and we start getting hammered with snow and we can get everything in place and be ready to go. So just put it over here by the other money maker that's not making any money. Y'all look good. Same with this lawnmower, you know. We usually have all this stuff out and ready to go, but we just it just hasn't been snowing, so we just haven't got anything in place yet. I mean, on a one to two inch snow, we don't use these machines anyways. It's faster to shovel them, so I don't know.
Now, this is this is the way it goes. Okay. What the? F ah. Getting lovely. Oh man, I tell you what. When shit goes bad, it's just it's just like one thing after another. Fucking stupid. I tried this f before I left because I didn't want to have any f***ing issues. And now we've got a loose connection somewhere, which is f***ing tits. I always love fixing this shit out in the f***ing snow in the goddamn driveway. God f***ing damn it. That pisses me off even more when you don't even do nothing and it just starts working. Uh, all right, let's try and spread some salt here. Uh, this lady's, she hates this driveway. She lives here, it's a very nice place. But she absolutely hates her driveway, which this driveway is actually sketchy as <laughs> Doesn't look that bad on camera, but it's blacktop and it doesn't get a lot of sun. And this thing will get super icy. Um, yeah, every year there's always a vehicle that gets stuck on here, so she pretty much has us salt it. Anytime anything's on it, um, these some of these corners here, these are horrible. Um, and actually, there's been times where our plow trucks couldn't even get up this. Uh, I think it was a couple of years ago. We got a little bit of ice, and then like three inches of snow. We tried plowing up it, couldn't get up it. We tried uh, we tried uh, backing up it, salting first. And it just didn't matter what we did. We couldn't get up the damn thing, so I don't really want to have to put chains on and uh, mess up her driveway. But yeah, like this corner here is sketchy. I mean, that's a pretty good drop off over there. So that should be enough salt. So as you can see there, that's what the clickers are for. So that tells me how many revolutions that conveyor is going back there. And we have it dialed in so I know that each revolution is so many pounds of salt. So we know exactly how much we're putting down. So it's pretty nice. So we're out of here. And yeah, this doesn't look bad down here, but I'm telling you, back up there, if it freezes overnight, that'll be that'll be bad and this is a driveway you don't want to let get bad because once it's bad you can't get up or down the goddamn thing well we made it back to the shop the snow is kind of starting to melt now so we pretty much got everything done unfortunately i couldn't get much footage of it this morning so you guys are Bring them back their salters and emptying them out. Must have a lot of salt in there yet. How many clicks did you use? For both of them? Oh. Both? 
Mr. Eater saving the day. Having issues with the other furnace. We got to send it out and get the part rebuilt on it. Get her working again. Not a big deal. I probably should have done it this summer. But I put it off. Didn't get it done. So I'm going to take this part. Send it up, get it rebuilt, and we should have heat back in here tomorrow. I'll shut those lights off on I it. was just going to ask you how I shut those off. It's on that gray switch on the back of the salter. Okay. So now they're going to rinse off the trucks and pretty much call it a day. Wait for more snow. Maybe next year. Uh -huh. 